What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today's Alabama State Top 4. And on the left, we have Blake playing his Mega Rayquaza Jolteon deck. And if you don't know, we actually saw him Blake playing in round number 4, playing his Mega Rayquaza deck. So he has made it all the way to Top 4 with his Mega Rayquaza deck. If you don't know, he plays Mega Rayquaza and the Jolteon. We have the Flash Ray making our base Pokemon cannot hurt it, which is pretty good. Aegislash with the Mighty Shield, Jiraji with the Stardust, and the Hoopa. He does not play Puzzle of Time like we've seen in other Mega Quads' list, but he does instead play four Trainer Small to help out the consistency. But if you give me a second, we'll see the player on the right and see what they're playing. Alright, on the right, we have Jose playing his Sidestone Garatina deck. Now, if you remember, in round number four, Blake and Jose actually played. So, it's funny, in round number four and in top four, they are playing each other. But we saw Blake take that game. His Jiraji and his Aegislash was too much for Jose to handle. But Jose was kind of unlucky with his Crush Hammers and his slow, his slow King, which does have the ability to move an energy from the active to a bench Pokemon if you flip heads. So, can Jose hit some crucial head flips and maybe move the energies off his Pokemon to a bench Pokemon? Pokemon, maybe onto Hoopa. We'll see what happens. Let um, me try to scroll down. I could scroll. Oh, there we go. Uh, one fighting fear belt, two muscle band, four and four special energies. So eight total. And he also plays the puzzle of times. So we'll see what happens. He also plays an escape room as well to try to help knock out a Jirachi. Uh, so we'll see what helps. Uh, we'll see what happens. And let's see what's going to happen. Is Blake going to take the win again, or is Jose going to take uh, beat Blake this time with his side sword Giratina deck? Let's see what happens right now. Alright guys, here we go. Alabama State's top four. Like I said, on the left we have Blake playing his Mega Rayquaza, Jolteon, Jirachi, Aegis Slash deck. And on the right we have Jose playing his Sidestone, Giratina, Slowking deck. And earlier, and I mean earlier in the videos, they did play in round number four. So it's pretty funny that they're playing in round number four. And in top four, looks like the number four slot is going to be filled with, you know, uh, Sidestone, Giratina versus Mega Rayquaza, Jolteon. And we're going to see what happens. Look at them both playing the uh, the 60 cards Mega Alakazam playmat as well. But we're going to see both players set up and let's see what's going to happen. Can Jose have a better time of flipping coins? We know last time he did not. He was not very successful at flipping his coins uh, as in, you know, Crush Hammers and the Slow King. Uh, but hopefully that changes and gives Jose that kind of favor. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Who do you want to win? Do you want Mega Rayquaza or do you want Sidestone Sloking to take the top four, uh, win? And, uh, we'll see. We're just waiting for the judges to start the game. Looks like Blake's gonna take a drink of his Gatorade, getting ready to go, getting, uh, I guess, uh, energized, ready for this match. And, uh, we'll see what happens. It's gonna come down to Jirachi, Aegislash, and Zerosic for sure. But, Oh, no. oh, man, Jose starts with a Hoopa. That is not who you want to start with in this game. Uh, usually, you want to use the Hoopa later on to discard stuff, uh, but that's not good. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Zerosic and something else. I'm not sure what the other card is. I know one is a Zerosic, uh, but we see a Giratina coming down, okay? And Jose does have the Double Dragon in his hand. Alright, so that's good for Jose getting the Double Dragon and the Giratina. If he can get that turn two, he'll be pretty set to go. I mean, he can make where Blake can't attach any special energies, play any tools, and he can start swinging very heavily. And, okay, so yeah, the Giratina is going to come down. He was checking to see what's all in his deck, and he looks like he is satisfied. So we'll see a Double Dragon going down to the Giratina, and we'll see a pass on to Blake's turn. And now let's see, can Blake have a crazy turn one and knock out this Hoopa? We see a DCE to the active. We see a Skyfoot coming down as well. Okay. We see a Hoopa. He, now, now Blake's going to use his Scoundrel Ring. And he's going to search for three EX Pokemon. A Shaman, a Rayquaza. And then if he has a Link, maybe a Mega Rayquaza? Or does he opt not to get the Mega Rayquaza if he doesn't have the Link? That's the big question. And let's see what he decides to do here in a second. He's going to look to see what's all prized in his... I mean, what's all prized overall. It is his first time searching his deck. And it looks like he is satisfied with these three cards. What are they going to be? It looks like a Mega Quasa, a Quasa, and a Shea Bay is coming down. Alrighty. So, yeah, those three cards will come down. And there's the uh, Rayquaza, a uh, Shaman, going to draw, looks like three. Oh, no, just two. Can he find a Spear Link or not? He does play those Trainer's Mill. I mean, not Trainer's Mill. Yeah, he does play those Trainer's Mill. There's another Shaman setting up for one. We see a Sycamore going to discard his hand and draw seven new cards. So he does discard a Mega, oh, a Mega Turbo and a Mega Rayquaza, which is not good for Blake. But he needs to dig to try to get this turn one dunk. If he can, he'll be put in such a great position. Uh, we see Blake rearranging his 
uh, field. We see a Spear Link onto the bench, Rayquaza. Okay. We see a Jolteon come down. Okay. We see a Hoopa. Going to use Scoundering. Search for three EX Pokemon. I wonder why he decided to put the Link on the bench. Maybe you knew his hand was bad. Uh, looks like he's counting his bench. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like he's going to grab a Shaman. Uh, Mega Rayquaza, and then maybe an Aegislash. I can't tell right now that glare is, was pretty bad. I apologize for that glare. We haven't seen that glare in a really long time, but it is making an appearance in top four right now. I guess Blake's cards are just too shiny and just can't take the, the glare. But we see a Mega Rayquaza going to the bench. Okie dokie. We see a Mega Rayquaza to the active. So it looks like he grabbed his double Mega Rayquaza. And on to Jose's turn, let's see what he decides to do. He does have an escape rope. So he's going to escape rope. Send up the uh, the Giratina, and the Blaze just going to send up the Jolteon. It does have that free retreat, which is fairly nice. So, the Giratina coming up. We see an Ultra Ball discard, an Ultra Ball, and a Sycamore. There's a probably get out of Shebe, and this makes it where Jose can draw more cards with Shaman, and then use the supporter card to even draw more cards. So, like, some people might just play Sycamore automatically, not really worrying about that Shaman, but I think Jose grabbing the Shaman right off the top is better. Like I said, you do get more cards, and you do have the chance to use a supporter card. Whereas, if he just played the Sycamore, he wasted his supporter card for his turn. So it looks like Jose is going to grab the Shaman. And he is going to set up getting six cards. Now, what Jose needs to find is some kind of disruption card for that DC on that bench, Mega Rayquaza. Because if Blake has a... Uh, a Hex Maniac, he can still knock out the Giratina next turn, but we see Shaman going to set up 4-6, and let's see what Jose finds. Does he find a way to discard that Double Dragon, And I mean at the DC, and he does find the Enhanced Hammer to discard that DC. We see a Toad as well, but Jose needs to find an Energy, uh, either DC or Double Dragon. Either one works. He has uh, the option to play both. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Muscle Man and a VS Seeker. Going to grab another Shebe, and he is looking for this other Energy to use Chaos Will to put Blake in a bad position uh blake wouldn't he won't be able to play stadiums tool cards or special energies so there we go shaman setting up can he find a, an energy or not any energy in his deck i see an az i do not see an energy right now so this is not looking good for jose oh my goodness is this really going to happen is he going to whip the energy turn two we see a super scoop up uh probably trying to pick up that shaman most likely uh let's see what jose decides to flip and it is a head so he will pick up the shaman put it to his hand and he's gonna put it back down draw uh, two cards okay um all right so shaman goes into his hand and oh uh, let's see we see another super scoop up and it looks like a tails this time yep that's a tails okay it looks like a five and let's see what jose does can he find an energy or not he has a puzzle he has he has triple he has three puzzle times in his hand turn one all right so double puzzle time comes down and let's see he's gonna grab two super scoop ups looks like he's just trying to pick up the shamans to reuse them to try to draw it to a card so super scoop up do the do the puzzle times pay off and it looks like that is a heads he will pick up the shaman okay and he's got another puzzle time. Looks like he is going to Shaman drawing. Hey, there's the DCE. All right, so Shaman for one. Get the DCE. Oh, man. All right. So we will see a Chaos Will. Uh, we see an AZ as well. Uh, picking up the Shaman. Put it back down. Drawing two, maybe three cards. All right. Does Jose find a Slowpoke or not? That's the big question. Nope. Does not look like it. But we're going to see a uh, Chaos Will for 100 damage. Now to Blake's turn. He's in a weird spot. Like I said, Blake cannot play Special Energies. He cannot play uh, Stadium cards. He can't play Tool cards. We see a Lightning Energy going down to the Mega Closet. We see a retreat into the Age of Slash. And we'll probably see a pass onto Jose's turn. And what can he do about this Age of Slash? That's the big question. We'll see a Battle Crest from Blake. He's going to discard three cards out of his deck. And what does he decide to discard? Um, Let's see what those three cards will be. B. Looks like a Zerosic, and I do like the Zerosic being discarded. If Blake can get lucky, he can Zerosic discard the double dragon energy with the VS Seeker, and then maybe make it where Jose can't attack. So, VS Seeker first Zerosic, discard the double dragon, and we'll probably see. Oh, a Shaman coming down as well. It's drawn up to six new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Blake's bench is full now. He cannot put down any more Pokemon. There is eight on the field with the Sky Float out. So on a Jose's, Jose's turn, let's see what happens. He has played two puzzle times already, uh, getting the two super scoop ups. So he has two left in the deck. 
He has one double dragon down, and we'll see a pass from Jose on to Blake's turn. All right, so now Blake can play all of his cards he wants to. He does not have any limits. He can play two special energies. He can play his tools. So a DC, a DC to the act, or not to the actor, to the bench, Mega Rayquaza. We'll see a trainer's mill. And can Blake somehow get this Aegis Slash out of the actor spot? That's the big question. Uh, can he find a switch? Or an escape rope. I think he plays both of those, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm not sure what he grabbed. Looks like he grabs an Ultra Ball with the Trainer's Mill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he plays in a Switch, escape rope, and an AZ. So he has a lot of different options. The question is, can he find one of those or not? Uh, we see another Trainer's Mill from Blake. Can he find one or not? Preferably the Switch. If he can play the Switch into the Mega Arquaza, he'll be good to go. I'm not sure what card that is. That is a big, gigantic glare on that one card. Uh, but if I, if I imagine if it's a playable card, he'd just play almost immediately. If it's a Switch, he would definitely... He would have probably grabbed it quicker if it was a Switch. But there's a VS Seeker. Looks like he's going to grab a Zerosic Discard of that DC off that Giratina. And we'll probably just see a pass on to Jose's turn. All right, so things are not looking good for Jose. Blake has discarded two of his energies, and Jose really can't attack this turn. I mean, he can maybe Quake and Punch for 30. I mean, Quake and Punch for zero? Right? I don't know what that does. Like, that doesn't really do anything. We'll see a pass on to Blake's turn. And can Blake find a way to retreat this uh, Aegis Slash out of the active spot? That is the big question. Can he find an AZ? Now can he find an escape rope? Either one does not matter. A lightning energy goes down to the, the, the Jolteon. And if, if Blake can get this Jolteon ready to go, Blake might be in a good position because, you know, Jose can't really hurt this Jolteon. Now, Jose does have ways to discard energies off that Jolteon. But, oh man, if that Jolteon starts swinging, Jose is going to be in big trouble. Jose does have Crush Neighbors in his hand, but as you see, he is keeping those uh, in his hand right now. He really doesn't want to play them. Uh, we see a DC onto that Jolteon. And let's see what Blake decides to do. It looks like we're going to see a judge. Going to put both players at four cards. Blake will get rid of oh, those crush neighbors in Jose's hand. Now, you might be saying, why did Jose not play them? Well, Blake, I mean, I guess he could, he could one-shot the Giratina with... No, he can't. Blake has to have a Hex Maniac to actually attack this Giratina. Uh, so, he, yeah, the whole time I was still good for a Switch, he needed an Escape Rope or a Switch and a Lysander. He couldn't even hurt this Giratina while, um, while Giratina is in the Axe spot because of its ability. So, we see two Links coming down. We'll see a pass on to Jose's turn. We see a Crush Hammer for Jose. So, I mean, Jose could play Crush Hammer right now to discard a double a DC off that Jolteon, but I think he wants to hold on to it. Uh, he does have another double dragon in his hand. Uh, let's say we see a pass on to Jose's turn. And Jose has a double dragon and a muscle band. So we'll see a double dragon to the active. And we'll probably see a Chaos Well. It doesn't do anything to Aegis Slash, but it makes it where Blake can't play, you know, all those limitations. We'll see a pass from Jose. All right, on Blake's turn. And this is going to be a weird kind of war right now. We see a switch into the Jolteon. But we know that Jose does have those uh, Crush Nightmare in his hand. But you can't try to discard the DC the following turn. So we'll see a flash rate doing 70 damage on to this Giratina. I think it's 70. Uh, but here comes a Crush Hammer, and let's see what happens. And it looks like it was ahead. So he will discard the Lightning Energy off the Jolteon. All right. I think the Lightning Energy, I don't, I don't think it really matters either way. Uh, we see a VS Seeker for a Zerosic discard the DCE. Oh my goodness. All right. So uh, Blake went from having all the energies on Jolteon to none in a matter of seconds. We'll see another Chaos Wall. Make our Blake cannot play certain cards. We'll see a retreat. Um, we're gonna see a retreat into the Quaza. All right, and does Blake have a Hex Maniac? If he has a Hex Maniac, he can blow up this guy. But nope, we're gonna see a Lysander. Bring up that Side Stone, and he will use Ammo Break for the knockout, taking two prize cards. Going down to four. All right, on Jose's turn, let's see what happens. He can actually Chaos Wall and actually hurt somebody this turn. For the past couple turns, he's been using Chaos Wall. He couldn't hurt the Age of Slash. He couldn't hurt the Jolteon. But we see a Giratina come down with a Double Dragon. And we actually see a Puzzle of Time. So it looks like uh, Jose is in a desperate situation. He's saying, hey, my hand is bad. I need to find a way out of this. I could easily lose the game, lose the game in two turns. We see a Muscle Man to the active. And we see a Chaos Well for 120 damage all right on the blake's turn can he find another lysander or a hex maniac that's the big question all righty we see a lightning energy going down to the quaza maybe not okay wait wait for it yep lightning energy to the quaza yep all right so there we go we see a hex maniac shutting down that giratina's abilities and we'll see another ammo break for the knockout on a jose's turn we know he has a dce oh trainer's mill all right 
I know one of the four cards on top was a DC, and he opted to put the trainers on all top to try to hit a Sycamore, and it does pay off. So he can't Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, there's a Toad, Sycamore, going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Can he find another energy or not? That's the big question. He does have a DC in his hand. So Chaos will do 100 damage to this Giratina, I mean, to this Rayquaza, and, uh, you know, it, games are the, the game's going to start slowly changing. And we see a Team Aqua Secret Race as well. So Blake will have to discard his bench down to five Pokemon. And now his Pokemon have a, need one more energy to retreat. Or both players do, actually. It looks like we see a Jolteon, a Hoopa, and something else being discarded. All right, and let's see what Blake does. I mean, Jose's going to take a knockout. That's for sure. Uh, Blake's probably going to promote the Age of Slash. Oh, he's actually going to promote the Rayquaza. Maybe he already has the game in hand. Maybe he has, like, a Mega Turbo Energy Lysander. Or VS Seeker? Uh, yeah, he needs a VS Seeker. So let's see what he decides to do. Looks like he's going to Battle Presser. Discard three cards out of his deck. Okay. Can he find a way to attack with Rayquaza this turn? There's a Lightning Energy on it right now. Can he find a Mega Turbo, a Lightning, and a Lysander? If he could pull that combo off, he could win this turn to knock out a Shaman. He can't play down Skyfold because Chaos Will is locking down the stadium. It looks like we see a Skyla, something else, and a Jolteon being discarded with those Battle Compressors saying, hey, I really don't need these cards. And let's see, what does Blake have in his hand? Uh, does he have the win or not? Okay, let's see. We see a Trainer's Melt. Look at the top four cards of his deck. What does he decide to get? Looks like he is going to grab an Ultra Ball. And if there's a Shaman in the deck, he could Ultra Ball to grab a Shebe. Or he could grab a... Um, a Jirachi, and Jirachi could make things interesting. So we see Ultra Ball going to discard of two Skyfills, and he's going to get out the Shaman. Does Blake have the win this turn? Does he have a Lightning, a Mega Turbo, and a Lysander? He needs those exact cards to win the game. There's no other way he can win right now except for those cards. All right, so let's see what Blake decides to do. He's going to look through his discard pile to see what's all in there. There is a Lightning Energy. There's two Lightning Energies. And a lightning on the field. So we see him double mega turbo to the active. Oh, buddy. Oh, does he need another energy? Uh, no, there's three. There's a shaman. Going to set a 4-4. Four, four. Can he find the Lysander or not? And there's a VS Seeker. Is Lysander in the discard pile? That's the question. And it is in the discard pile. So he had double mega turbo in his hand. We see a VS Seeker for Lysander. Bring it to that shaman. And we'll see an ammo break for the game. And that is round number one of... Alabama State's top four. That was crazy. I mean, Jose looked like he was in a good position. He, you know, knocked out that Mega Rayquaza. Getting rid of Blake's really only real attacker. And putting up a Team Aqua Secret Base. Making where, you know, Blake can't really take a knockout on this Giratina. Even if he played a Hex Maniac. But, Blake did have double Mega Turbo and a Lysander in his hand to win the game. Oh my goodness, that was a crazy game one. Uh, but we'll see what happens in game number two. Both players are going to set up, and let's see what happens. Uh, do you want Mega Quads of Jolteon, or do you want Side Stone Giratina to take home the win? Alrighty. So, both players are setting up, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully, Jose does not start with the Hoopa. It didn't really hurt him that bad, um, but... He needs to find that Slow King. The Slow King would have been really helpful the whole game. Uh, we see Blake does start with the Jolteon. That's probably who he's going to start with. It does have that free retreat. Like I said earlier, I think that was the Jolteon. All right, so both players do find a Pokemon. Blake actually finds two Pokemon. Oh, buddy. And we see a Toad from Jose, and we see a Jolteon and a Rayquaza. All right, on to Jose's turn, we see a Toad coming down. We see a, a Slowpoke. So there's finally Slowpoke is coming down to play. He has a Team Flare Gun, an Enhanced Hammer, a Sycamore in his hand. And we'll see a pass on a Blake's turn. Let's see, can Blake have a crazy turn one to knock out the side stone? There's a Skyfield. There's a Shaman going to draw all two. Okay. And we see a Lightning Energy to the active. All right. We know that Jose does have the Team Flare Gun in his hand. Looks like we're going to see a Hex Maniac going to shut down the Slow King, uh, Slowpoke or the Shaman. Uh, which everyone decides. It looks like we see a VS Seeker for his Hex Maniac as well. So on a Jose's turn, we see a uh, Team Flare Grunt discarding the energy. A Toad, DC, Muscle, I mean, Muscle Man and DC do come down. And we'll see a Quake Punch for good old 50 damage. And on a Blake's turn, let's see what happens. We'll see a, uh, inner, a DC to the bench for Quaza. We'll see a Quaza come down as well. And we'll see a Sycamore. He will discard his hand, draw on seven new cards. And let's see, can he find the Jirachi under Toad Log? That's the real question. If he could do that, he could put down the Drachi, retreat, use energy, and stardust. Uh, we might just see a pass from Blake. 
Really can't do anything. Yep, we'll see a pass from Blake on to Jose's turn. We know he has the enhanced hammer in his hand. And look at that. Jose played, you know, he, he was conserved. He was conservative. He kept everything in his hand. No real need to play anything. And he still had Sycamore as well. I'm pretty sure there's Sycamore in his hand. But he just kept the enhanced hammer. He kept the team flare gun. And things are paying off for him. We see another quick punch for 50. We see an age of slash come down as well. Okay. And let's see. What can Blake do? Can he mega evolve in his turn? Uh, we see a DC attached to their bitch Rayquaza. Okay. We see a Shaman going to set up for two, I think. Or no, just, just one. Rayquaza coming down. And we'll probably see a pass on a Jose's turn, I imagine. Yep, pass on a Jose's turn. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. A Muscle Man goes down to the side stone. Super scoop up. Looks like it is a heads. Okay. <clears throat> maybe it was, I don't, maybe it wasn't a heads. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell, but we see Sycamore going to discard his hand. We'll put down the Soul King. If it was a heads, all he would do is pick up the, the Toad with the Muscle Band and put it back down. We see a Soul King come down. We see another Quaking Punch, and we'll see a Judge for four cards. So Jose has pretty much everything he wants besides a Giratina right now. He is keep, keeping Blake under lock uh, with the Quaking Punch. Make our Blake can use Mega Turbos, his Spear Links, his VS Seekers. And he has a slow king as well. Jose has a slow king as well to make where Blake cannot attach energies to the active Pokemon or they'll just be moved to that Hoopa on the bench. We see a lightning going out to Jolteon and we'll probably see a pass onto Jose's turn. Now Blake will, will, Blake might have to let this like active Rayquaza just get knocked out. I don't think there's like any, well, any real way behind it. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a super, uh, super Scoop of and a Trainer's Mill. Alright, getting out the Giratina. We'll see a double dragon to the Giratina. We'll see a Shaman drawn six cards. And I wonder what... I think Jose's probably looking for a, a Crushing Hammer. Trying to discard a Lightning off that Rayquaza. I mean, not off the Rayquaza. Off the uh, the Jolteon off the bench. There we go. But we'll see another Quaking Punch for 50 damage. That Rayquaza is up to 150. We see another Jolteon come down. We'll see a Lysander bringing up that Slow King. All right. And we'll see a pass onto a Jose's turn. Now, I'm like 99% sure Jose does not play any floatstones uh, let me pull up his list real quick but i'm like pretty sure it does not play any floatstones it plays an az we here we see a crush hammer and let's see what it flips first uh come on jose keep it on the mat and looks like it is a heads maybe uh looks like he's gonna get rid of the uh double the dc off the Rayquaza. and can jose find a way to retreat this sloking he only plays the az he plays an escape rope he plays the four puzzle time and the four super scoop ups. It looks like we're just gonna see a pass though on a Blake Stern. All right, can Blake have an explosive start? All right, so you can play all of his item cards. Everything is free game. We see a spear link to the active. We see a Sycamore gun discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, what can he find? Can he find a Mega Quadza, a Mega Turbo, and a DCE? That's the cards he needs for sure. All righty. So let's see what Blake decides to do. Hopefully he just doesn't pass with all these. You know, he has the ability to play all of his trainer cards. I, I doubt he will, though. Uh, we'll see a trainer's mode. Look at the top four cards of his deck. What does he find? Does he find anything in there? It looks like a spear link will come down. Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter what Rayquaza. He has two Rayquazas on the bench, a two Shamans, a two Jolteons. All right. And an Age of Slash as well. Don't forget the Age of Slash. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, three, six, seven. Yep. We see a link, a Mega Rayquaza to the bench. And, uh, do we just see a pass from Blake? That would not be the best things to do. I mean, if it's the only thing he could do, uh, then go for it. But we see a Mega Turbo. We're going to put a min uh, energy to that bench, Mega Rayquaza. Okay. We see a Shaman setting up. I wonder why he didn't touch to the active. That's the real question. I wonder, I guess he wants to try to get, a, like, a knockout the following turn. Um... Okay, we see a trainer's mill. Look at the top four cards of his deck. I mean, he can still find a switch or something. Uh, we see another Mega Turbo coming down. Okay, all right, all right. I like what I see. So another Mega Turbo. Okay, he's going to probably put that Light Energy onto the Rayquaza if he has one. Mega Rayquaza to the active. If he has a DC, he can still take a knockout this turn. But nope, just a pass on to Jose's turn. Does Jose find anything or not? He does have a VS Seeker, but I don't think there's an AZ in his discard ball. Uh, we'll see a pass on to Blake's turn. All right, let's see. What does Blake have? Uh, will we see Blake finally take a knockout this turn or not? It's kind of been a, a slow start for Mega Rayquaza, but it does happen sometimes. Um, We see a, a Zerosic discard the Double Dragon off that Giratina. And looks like we might just see another pass. We might see a kind of weird war going on right now. Uh, we see a light energy to the bench. Uh, I mean, the active Rayquaza retreat to the Age Slash. 
And we'll probably just see a pass of Mega Turbo. Put a Lightning Energy onto that Bench Mega Quaza. And yeah, pass on to Jose's turn. Let's see what happens. He drew to a Shebe. That's not going to help him out. Blake draws first turn. Uh, it will we see a weird passing war? That'd be, I don't know. Let's we'll see. Uh, there's a Skyla. Blake will search for any card in his, or any trainer card in his deck. And let's see which one he decides to get. He could maybe grab a escape rope if it's in there and make Jose send up a Pokemon to get knocked out. So that way Blake can't take two prize cards. But I think Blake really wants to take a knockout on this active. That, I think that's a switch. Uh, if it's a switch, he can switch into the Mega Quaza. Maybe take a knockout this turn and get rid of Jose's Sulking. So yeah, we'll see a treat. A switch into the Mega Quaza. We'll see a DC to the active. It will see Emmerich for the knockout. Uh, Blake will just take one prize card since that's not an EX Pokemon. All right, on to Jose's turn. Let's see what happens. We'll see a trainer's mail. Look at the top four cards of his deck and what does he decide to get? Looks like he might not get anything. Uh, he's contemplating. What do I get? I need to somehow knock out this Rayquaza. We see a Hex Maniac coming down. And can Blake, I mean, can Jose find his one Team Aqua Seeker base? That's the real question. And uh, we see Via Seeker is Jose's hand. A good Via Seeker, maybe play Team Flareground or Zerosic. Either one would be fine. Uh, but a Lysander, he is going to Lysander bring up that Aegis Slash. All right. And we'll see a Quake and Punch not, not do anything. And on a Blake's turn, we'll see a pass. On a Jose's turn, we'll see a DC to that Giratina. We'll see a Hex Maniac, and we'll see a Quake Punch for 50. On a Blake's turn, we see a Mega Quaza comes down. A pass on a Jose's turn. Alrighty, so things are picking up, but uh, we see double puzzle time. And let's see what Jose decides to get. He could get down uh, maybe two double dragon energies. There's a, a double dragon and a crush hammer. Never mind, looks like a Via Seeker and a Hex Maniac instead. So Hex Maniac will do 50 damage to that active gear Aegis Slash. Okay. And we'll see another pass on a Jose's turn. And we'll see a Via Seeker in front of the Hex Maniac. Do another 50 damage. Can Jose knock out this Aegis Slash by using uh, by just Quakey Punching it with he with Hex Maniacs? That'd be pretty uh, crazy. Uh, let's see what Jose did. He does have Via Seekers in his hand, so he can't take a knockout this turn. But we're just going to have a Quakey Punch. All right. And I think Jose's going to try to deck out Blake, maybe? Um... Let's see what Jose decides to do. We'll see another Quake and Punch. It might look like Jose is passing, but he's actually using Quake and Punch. Um, it just doesn't do any damage because, you know, the Age Slash has its ability. Making where it can't be hurt by Pokemon. We see a Crush Hammer. Not hurt by Pokemon. Pokemon Special Energies. Looks like it was a Tales from Jose, though. All right, on the Blake's turn, we might see another pass. On the Jose's turn, we'll see another Quake and Punch. All right. We'll see another pass from Blake, most likely. This game is going crazy right now. So, yep, pass on the Jose's turn. All right. We'll see another, oh, uh, Fighting Fear Belts. All right, pass on the, I mean, not pass, a Quake of Punch. Pass from Blake. A uh, Quake of Punch, okay, a pass from Blake. All right, all right, on a Jose's turn. Jose drew to another VS Seeker. He, now he's trying to contemplate what to do. Um, We'll see a Quake of Punch from Jose. We'll see a pass from Blake. This is getting exciting. We'll see a Quake of Punch from Jose. We'll see a pass from Blake on Jose's turn. Oh, man, we'll see a Quake Punch from, from Jose. We'll see a pass from Blake. All right, on to Jose's turn. We'll see a Quake Punch from Blake. I mean, Jose. Oh, my goodness. This is good. This is getting hard. Oh, my goodness. So, Double Dragon comes down to the Giratina. Okay. Does Blake have way to... Oh, man. Does Blake have anything or not? Oh, man. All right. So, uh, Blake draws. Looks like we'll see another pass on to Jose's turn. All right. Let's see what Jose does. We might see just another Quake Punch. I am... Yep. Just another Quake Punch on to Blake's turn. We'll see a pass on a Jose's turn. We'll see a pass, and Jose takes that game. Oh, his AZ was prized. Oh, no. All right, so there we go. That was game number two. That was really hard to talk about <laughs> the last couple turns where we saw a Quake Punch and a pass and a Quake Punch and a pass and a Quake Punch and a pass. I know, like I said, it looked like Jose was passing, but he was actually Quake Punch, and I know that probably doesn't seem like it was, but like I said, with the uh, Aegis Slash's uh, ability making it where it can't be hurt by special, special Pokemon with special energies, it looked like he was passing, but it was keeping Blake under item luck. Blake couldn't play any of his item cards because of Quake Punch. Quake Punch still is an effect when Quake, well, I mean, Quake Punch, the item effect still works even when Aegis Slash in the, is in the active spot. It just doesn't take damage. So that's the key thing to know. And now it's in the game number three. Oh man, hopefully there's none there's not another quick punch pass. I don't know how much I could take that talking really fast. Alright, but we'll see both players setting up. And Jose had a good, like, good game. I mean, <clears throat> he got the slow king out fairly quickly. 
Um, you got the Toad Punch, going to get a line. Maker Blake can have, you know, playing his trainer cards. Blake didn't really have that crazy of a turn one either. But here we go. Both players are setting up. We'll see what happens in game number three and see that both players do mulligan. <clears throat> so we'll see if both set up one more time, trying to find a basic Pokemon. And let's see, can they find one or not? We see both players are shuffling. And who do you want to win? I think I've asked this question multiple times. Do you want the Sidestone Giratina or do you want Mega Quaza Jolteon to take the game? And we'll see what happens. And uh, I like how they're both playing the same playmat. Actually, I think Jose was playing the playmat. And I was like, here you go, Blake. Play the matching playmat as Jose. All right. So we'll see what Blake has. It looks like a Shaman Star from uh, from Blake. Uh, from Blake. I'm not sure what else he has in his hand. I bet if that is a Shaman Star, I wish. I think he wishes he mulligans. But we we'll see uh, six prize cards coming down. And oh, Jose starts with the Shaman, but Blake does have a Rayquaza in his hand. We we'll see a Lightning Energy to the active. And let's see what Blake does. I imagine he'll play all of his trainer cards. He can't turn one before Jose tries to get that lock. All right. Looks like we might see an Ulch Ball discarding a Shaman and something else. Uh, looks like Blake did drop something. Did he find it? Yep, he dropped some cards. Is there any more on the, on the bench? All right. How, how did Blake drop all those cards? Okay. Uh, but we see an Ulch Ball discarding. Uh, I can't tell what that is. Something in a Shaman. Some kind of full art supporter card. Uh, here we see a Hoopa coming down. And we see Blake probably play a billion cards. Turn number one. Looks like we see a Mega Quaza. We'll see it's Shebe, and then maybe another Rayquaza and or an Aegislash. I'm not sure which one he'll go for. Yep, there's an Aegislash. We haven't seen Jirachi both these games either, which is fairly interesting. You'd think that Blake would maybe decide to like be kind of aggressive with it, but maybe it was prized both games or something, and that's why we didn't see it. Hey, speaking of Jirachi, there he is. All right, so Shaman's setting up for six. And does Blake find a Spearling to put on the active? Well, I mean, he can just Mega Evolve regardless certain one, so that's really not that big of a deal. Um, and the Mega Cross, alright, so on to Jose's turn. Okay, so Jose needs to find another Pokemon. Uh, there's a Crush Nightmare, and goes off the table. Thank you, Jose, for, uh, throwing off the table. Well, here we go, number two. And looks like it is a heads. Gonna discard the Lightning off the active. Alright, we see a Scoundrel Ring from Hoopa. Gonna search for three EX Pokemon. Probably getting a Toad, Giratina, and maybe a Shaman as well. Uh, we'll see what the third Pokemon is going to be. I know for sure he's going to grab a Toad and a Giratina. There's a Toad, there's a Shaman, and there's a Giratina. So yeah, the three cards I thought he was going to grab. It, it, not that It's not that hard to think. Not that very hard to decide which one he's going to get. But we're going to see Toad come down. And can, find, can Jose find a Super Scoop Up, an Escape Rope, um... Maybe not an escape rope. Escape rope probably bad because Blake can just send a Jirachi. Uh, we see a Garatina, a Sizotoad. We see a Trainer's Mel. Well, I mean, he could, yeah, yeah, he can send in the Jirachi because Jirachi can't be knocked out by Toad. The most Toad could do is like 50. We see a Hex Maniac coming down from Jose. Okay. All right. And can Jose find a way to retreat the Shaman or not? Or will the Shaman just get knocked out? All right. So let's see what Jose decides to do. He does have the Hex Maniac. We'll see a double dragon onto that Giratina. And does he play the Hex already or does he play Shaman first? He looks like he's trying to decide which one to do. Looks like he is just going to Hex Maniac and then just pass. Alright. So no Blake's turn. Let's see what happens. Can he find a Mega Turbo, a DCE to knock out the Shaman? There's a Trainer's Mel. Oh man. If Blake can somehow find a Mega Turbo, a DC, and a Lysander, he can actually knock out uh, that Giratina because Hex Maniac is in play right now. Oh my goodness. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, we see a DC to the active. Does he have a Mega Turbo, Skyfield, Lysander, and a Shaman or something? That's probably the best combination he wants. There's an Escape Rope. All right. Uh, looks like, let's see who he decides to send up. Let's see he's going to send up the Side Stone. We'll see H slash come up to the active. Okay. And does Blake? Yeah, oh, Blake's just going to pass. All right, on to Jose's turn. Let's see what he decides to do. Uh, he does have the Shaman in his hand. We'll see a Shaman. Looks like it might draw two. One and two. All right. He does have a Sycamore in his hand. He has a Via Seeker for Hex Maniac. I don't know how great that's going to be. He has a Trainer's... I think it's a Trainer's Mill. Um, let's see what Jose decides to play. It looks like a Via Seeker for a Hex Maniac. And we'll see a pass on Blake's turn. All right, let's see what Blake decides to do. Um, if he has an AZ and an energy and a Skyfield and a Pokemon, okay, so there's a switch into the, okay, onto the Rayquaza. 
And looks like we're seeing Amber break doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 120. On to Jose's turn. Let's see what happens. We see a Trainer's Mail. Gonna look at the top four cards of his deck. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Let's see. Does he get anything or not? We see a Crush Nammer. He can maybe try and discard that DC off the active. That's, that's usually what you want to go with Crush Nammers because you can't play Mega Turbos. You can make your DCs. Uh, so yeah, Crush Nammer. Let's see. What is this? And it looks like a Tails. Wow. All right. So Shaman set up drawing three, I think, two. Okay, just two. Okay. All right. So let's see what Jose decides to do. What does he have in his discard pile? Uh, looks like he is going to play uh, Sycamore. Going to discard a Puzzle Time via Sticker and some other stuff. And let's see. What does he find? Does he find an Escape Rope? Um. Does he find an Energy? We see a Trainer's Mill. Look at the top four cards of his deck. Looks like a super scoop up. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe not the super scoop up. Let's see what he decides to get. Hmm, uh, he could get super scoop up, and he has a DCE. He could maybe, you know, Chaos Will. That'd be really great. But we see a trainer's mill grabbing the Sycamore for sure. Okay. And let's see what Jose decides to do. Um, He has a Sycamore in his hand, but he already played a supporter card. We see a DC to the active. And we'll see a Hands Hammer discard of that DCE. And we'll see a muscle band, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, muscle band, and we'll see a good old white and punch for 50 damage. I think this is what we're gonna see right now coming down. Uh, Team Agra secret base making where Blake needs one more. Uh, both players need one more energy. Uh, needs one more energy requirement to retreat. So we'll see a skyfall immediately coming down from Blake. We'll see a retreat into the Jirachi, and we'll we see a Stardust. I think that's what we're going to see here. Uh, yep, a, light, a lightning to the active and a Stardust discarded that DC, so that's not good for Jose. So that Toad goes up to 130 damage. We see a Double Dragon going down to the Giratina. And we'll see a pass on a Blake's turn. Now, Blake can find a Lysander to bring up that Giratina. He'll be in really good shape because he can use Stardust. We see a Mega Turbo putting a Lightning Energy to Rayquaza. Okay, all right. We see... Let's see what Blake decides to do. A Via Seeker. And what will he grab? That's the big question. If he has a license, he can bring up the Giratina and start us it off. Um, let's see. It looks like an AZ. Going to pick up the Shame. Or gonna, yeah. Oh, he's actually going to pick up the Hoopa and put it back down. That's actually fine because what he can do with this is he can Scoundering to search for a Rayquaza, a Shaman, and maybe another Rayquaza. Uh, looks like we'll see a Jolteon, Shaman, and Shaman. Okay. Um. Yep, so he's gonna put down the Jolteon, Shaman, set up for six, and he's looking for a DC to take a knockout. Most like I'm like 99% sure that's what he's looking for. So we we'll see a Jolteon come down. We we'll see Shaman drawing four cards. One, two, three, and four. Uh does he find a DCE? Does he have find a way to discard stuff off the uh out, out of his hand? We we'll see a retreat. And if he retreat, who does he send up? Looks like he is gonna send their quasi. Does he have a DCE? Alright, there's a Mega Turbo putting a lightning to the active, okay. We'll see a lightning energy as well. Wow. So we'll see a chaos what uh, not chaos what a uh ammo break for a knockout. We'll see another uh shaman setting up. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's a requaza, a link, and a mega requaza. Alright, so we will see a ammo break for the knockout. And on a Jose's turn, he will promote this Giratina with double double dragon energy. Just double double dragon energy. But we see a fighting few about going to the active, a DC, and a second more. Now Jose is looking for a oh he discarded DC as well. He is looking for two puzzle times to play to get out of the team's Aqua Secret Race out of his discard pile. If he could do that, he can make it where a Blake can't take a knockout the following turn. Blake still has to find a Hex Maniac. I think there's one in his discard pile, so he has to find a Via Seeker. We see an Ultra Ball discarding two cards, okay. And we see a Toad coming down, alrighty. So a Size Toad coming down to play. And let's see what Jose decides to do this turn. Does he have anything or not? Uh, will we see Blake just play a Via Seeker for Hex Maniac, take a knockout? There's so many questions. We'll find out here in a second. We see a super scoop up. Trying to pick up that Shaman, most likely with the DCE. But it looks like he's going to pick the Shaman up without the DCE, okay? Drawing six new cards. I guess he's looking for, like, time puzzles and crush hammers and to do stuff. Maybe a slow po to get out of Slow King. Because uh, that'd be a, very helpful right now to get those energies off the active. And let's see what Blake, I mean, what Jose decides to do. All right. Uh, what was he a pass? He does have an escape rope in his hand. I don't know how much that's going to help him. I think Blake will just promote the Jolteon. Um, I'm like 99% sure that's what he'll send up. And yeah, we'll see a quick uh, a Chaos Wolf for 110. 
Bringing that requires up to 160 HP. All right, on a Blake's turn, let's see what happens. Uh, does he find anything? We see a Hex Maniac, and we'll see an Emmerich for the knockouts. All right, and uh, the Fighting Fear Belt still... It should still be a knockout. It's doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. 240 damage is a knockout on that Garantina with the, with the Fighting Fear Belt. It does have 220 HP. But on a Jose's turn, he does have a DC. Okay, maybe, uh, wait, wait for it. Uh, so DC to the active, maybe not. Wait, he's thinking about it. What do I do? Can I knock out this Rayquaza or not? That's the big question. I think Jose is going to be short. We see a DC to the active. He does have the Slowpoke in his hand. Finally, it only took him like a billion turns. Uh, but looks like Jose is looking through his discard pile. Maybe he has a VS Seeker. But nope, a super scoop up. Going to come down, pick up the Shaman, put down the Slowpoke, put down the Shaman. It's like he replaced the Shaman with the Slowpoke. Why would you ever replace the Shaman with the Slowpoke? The stream is so much better, but we see a VS Seeker for a team player going to discard the energy off the active. We'll see a Shaman uh, going to set up, draw six new cards. Okay, and let's see what does Jose do. And, oh man, I don't know. We see a, 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 a escape rope, uh, but we see a Quake Punch doing 30. He is short of a knockout on a Blake's turn. Does he have an energy or not? We see a Zerosic discard the DCE. We'll see a retreat into the Aegis Slash. And we will see a pass on Jose turn. All right. And is this going to become a passing war now? That would be not the greatest. Um, but Jose does have an escape rope. So what he can do is escape rope, send with the Shaman, and then Sky Return for 30. Looks like we'll see Jolteon come up to the active spot. We'll see Shaman come up, and we'll see a Sky Return for 30. Most likely, and promoting maybe the uh, Shaman. Uh, so 30 damage. Oh, promotes the Slowpoke. All right. Son of Blake's turn. Can he find an energy and a, a DC and a Lysander? That's the big question. Let's see. What does Blake have in his hand? All right. I see a Lysander. So Lysander bringing the Hoopa off the bench. All right. And we see a Trainer's Melt. Look at the top four cards of his deck. What does he find? Does he find anything or not to win the game? It looks like we will see a Mega Turbo. But does he have another energy? I think there's only one attached to that Rayquaza. All right. So let's see what happens. We see a... Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Let's see. Okay, so uh, Sacred Ash going to shuffle a five Pokemon from his discard pile into his deck. And let's see what those five are going to be. It's actually just a Shaman. Nothing else are in his discard pile. That is pretty crazy. So there we go. Offers a cut to Jose. And let's see what happens. We see a Mega Turbo going to attach a Light Energy from his discard pile to his bench. Uh, Mega Quaza, the one without any damage. Okay. And we see a Battle Presser. Blake's going to discard three cards out of his deck. I wonder what they're going to be. All right, he's looking in there to see what's going to be. All right, wait for it. Let's see what he decides to discard. A Spear Leak, a Mega Rayquaza, and then, uh, yep, just those two. All right, all right. So those two get discarded, and let's see what Blake decides to do. It looks like he is going to play a VS Seeker. He already played the Life Center, so he can't play Double Supporter. We see his Rosic going to his hand, maybe to pop off a DC for the next turn. And we'll see a retreat into the Age Slash. And we'll see another pass on to Jose's turn. Alrighty. So let's see what Jose decides to do. I think he has a license in his hand. I don't know who he can really bring up. Uh, maybe they require with all the damage to take a knockout on it. Uh, we'll see a pass. And well, uh, that must have been time. Time must have been called, I guess. Or something. Because I, I mean, it's been an hour plus on my video right now. So time must have been called. And Blake takes the game because he's taking more prize cards. So there we see Blake does win the game. He does advance to the finals of Alabama States with his Mega Rayquaza Jolteon deck. So there we go. Mega Rayquaza taking the victory against the uh, Science Toad Garatina deck. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Game 2 was pretty crazy. Game 3 was kind of like a stall kind of like very defensive game but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a great day already bye